Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's edition of MQTT Monday. Today, we will be talking about the session expiry and message expiry feature of the MQTT 5 protocol. The message expiry can be set on a publish and defines the amount of time in seconds after which a message gets cleared by the broker in case it is not delivered. Not delivered in this case means that the message is queued for a client that is not online. Note that messages that are already in flight will not expire on the broker. Similarly, a session expiry can be set on the connect packet for a client. It also defines the duration in second after which the broker will clean up the session in case the client is offline for that amount of time. A typical example for this might be that a traffic alert is no longer interesting after one or two hours, whereas a message about a firmware update is always relevant and needs to be redelivered even after 30 days. The session expiry together with the clean start flag replaces the clean session flag that was known from MQTT3. If you want to use clean session false, you need to set a session expiry greater than zero. If you want to use clean session true, you need to use clean start true and a session expiry of zero. Please note that with HiveMQ, you can actually even leverage these MQTT5 features when you are using MQTT3 clients. You can set a global message expiry and session expiry in the configuration of the broker, as well as individually setting these values for publishers and clients when using the HiveMQ extension SDK. Subscribe to this channel and watch the series to learn about other cool MQTT5 features in the future. Thank you.